why have Ofgem raised the price cap so ridiculously, especially when record-breaking profits are being made by the energy companies? Prices have been expected to rise for a long time, since before the outbreak of war between Russia and Ukraine, in fact. So anyone blaming that war for it can blow it out their arses. An algorithm is used to predict changes in costs over the course of a year. And this calculated forecast has basically predicted high wholesale prices for gas. The gas wholesale right underlines all energy prices, even if they don't use gas, and is a major variable in the algorithm. Stupid, in my opinion. But despite wholesale gas being at a record low right now, it's not expected to remain so. So even though the energy suppliers could charge less now, they won't. This is why record-breaking profits at the supply arm are being made right now. The overheads are down, but suppliers don't expect that to last. Now, Ofgem is often referred to as the energy regulator, but actually it's the energy supply regulator. Energy supply companies are only allowed to make profits of 1.9% from energy, which seems ridiculously small. But when they're making billions and billions in sales, 1.9% can be a lot. And with these overheads down right now, it's even more. However, because of the forecast, they're still pleading poverty. And of course, can point to all those energy supplies that went bust last year as evidence for that. Now, because Ofgem only regulates supply, they look at the situation from a supply perspective only, see the vulnerabilities we know suppliers have, and put the cap up to protect them instead of us, the customer, fearing more will collapse. And bear in mind, Ofgem is a non-ministerial government department, so they're basically part of the government in all of this. Their independence is at government discretion, shall we say. The thing is, these companies are not poor. They're also producers of oil and gas in many cases, as well as distributors. They'll sell on to other suppliers and make vast profits at their production and distribution levels. Ofgem, for example, uh, regulate British gas, but their parent company, Centrica, having production and distribution arms has nothing to do with Ofgem. Others like Bold are suppliers only. Note they require a government bailout to stop them collapsing too. Subsidies to freeze the price cap is just more money going to these companies. But if we renationalize, we can regain control of, since we've oil and gas fields of our own, production, distribution, and supply once more, instead of always being vulnerable for as long as energy privatization is propped up.